Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Dev, aka The Unknown Variable here, back at you with another commentary. And today's video is going to be more of an optimistic video. I'm going to be sharing my Call of Duty 2023 wishlist with you guys. So let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video. Coming in at number one, I would like perks to change your character model. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you've ever played Black Ops 1, perk 1 actually changed the way your character model looked. So for example, if you had lightweight on, you had a different character model. If you had ghost on, you had a character model that had a ghillie suit on. Now this might seem like a very simple change and kind of like... Like, why would you want that in the game? Well, let me explain. At the beginning of a match, if you didn't have a UAV or you were getting into your first few gunfights, you didn't know very much about the enemy players. But if you saw somebody on the other team or the entire team running around with ghillie suits, you knew that that UAV you were about to get was pretty much useless. So you adjusted your playstyle accordingly. This gave you a lot of information when you first ran into gunfights, and I think it'd be a welcome change and people would actually be surprised at how useful this feature actually is. Coming in at number two, I have the Specialist Strike Package. If you've ever played Modern Warfare 3, you know about the specialist strike package. It was basically being able to earn perks through kill streaks. So you would get a perk at two kills, a perk at four kills, a perk at six kills. And once you got to seven, you got the specialist bonus, which then awarded you every single perk in the game. Now, this was great for high skilled players or people that relied on heavily on gun skill. And I like to reference Modern Warfare 3 because you had perks like Stalker that actually made your strafe speed faster. So when you earned that specialist bonus, as I'm sure a lot of OG Call of Duty players remember, you basically became a super soldier. You felt like you you just got hit with this permanent stim shot and it was great for people that were highly skilled. Coming in at number three, I have Dead Silence as a perk. I'm pretty sure this is fairly self-explanatory. The last few years, I believe with Vanguard and Cold War, we did get proper ninja perks, but in the Modern Warfare games, they refuse to do it. They make Dead Silence a field upgrade. I'm fairly confident that the community as a whole doesn't like Dead Silence as a field upgrade, so seeing it back as a perk would be phenomenal. Coming in at number four, we have the proper minimap. I would like to see a proper minimap that actually works like it did in old school Call of Duty. Like I said in a few of my rant videos, you don't need to change the minimap. The minimap's fine the way it is. There's plenty of other things you can address over the minimap. So having one that works properly would actually make suppressors useful again. In the current Call of Duty right now, we have suppressors that basically are filler attachments. They don't really do much. They don't hold you off the radar. They don't do anything because the radar doesn't work properly. So seeing the minimap reverted back to the way it was in the past would be a welcome addition in my opinion. Coming in at number five is actually one positive thing I can say about Modern Warfare 2 and that is the gunsmith system. Now I'm not talking about how the gunsmith system in this game basically nerfs the hell out of you if you decide to run a ton of attachments. Like I feel there's too many cons right now in the current Modern Warfare 2 gunsmith system. So if you tweaked the way the gunsmith system worked with the variety of stuff that we have in Modern Warfare 2, I think this system is basically perfect and it's one takeaway from Modern Warfare 2 that I can say they actually did a really good job on. That brings me to my next point which is better maps. I would like to see classic three lane maps. Now I know the community is fairly divided on this topic. I know a lot of people aren't really into classic three lane maps. They say that's boring. It doesn't have a lot of variety, yada, yada. But me personally, I would like to see the majority of the maps be three lane with a few complex ones for the people that enjoy those maps. That way it's a win-win. Everybody in the community is happy and we're not just catering to one group of people. And finally, I would like to see combat pacing return. Now, I don't know how many people watching this video actually played Call of Duty Vanguard because I know Call of Duty Vanguard was not a popular game. But one one takeaway that I could say about that game that I really enjoyed was the combat pacing system. You had tactical, assault, and blitz, which was basically varying player counts. I believe tactical was traditional 6v6, then assault was 10v10, and then I believe blitz could go up to 12 to 14 players depending on how big the map was. This also scaled with how small the map was. So for example, I remember in Vanguard it was 4v4 shipment because that was such a small chaotic map. And I think if they do some tweaking and do it on a map per map basis, combat pacing Pacing could actually be another welcome addition to the Call of Duty 2023 title. So yeah, guys, that pretty much sums up my Call of Duty 2023 wish list. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree with my points or if you have anything to add to the video. That's all for today. If you enjoyed, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch everybody in the next video.